Hello, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Green Raven here. All right, let's play out there again, shall we? Um, I've skipped the intro introduction. Uh, if you want to see it again, just watch the first part. I because I, it, I don't want to keep watching it like every day. It's like a good performance, anyways. Um, we are back in our craptastic little uh, shuttlecraft with the default resources and components. And away we shall go, shall we? Alright. Red Giant. Yellow Dwarf. Yellow Dwarf. I generally try to go to the Yellow Stars because if you know your astronomy, they have a hard chance. Excuse me. They have a hard chance of having inhabitable planets. So, yarr. They preyed on me like a storm of micrometeorites, a sort of spacefaring race of nanobots that fed on the heat from my reactors. When they were done, they appeared a little bit of my own. A thank you, I guess? Yay! Although we did not need repairing, but... Thanks nonetheless, I guess. Alright, there is nothing particularly here. So... White Dwarf? Just out of our reach. Alright. Uh, let's go check out that white dwarf, shall we? Bam! I let my mind wander as the space folder cools down, and then something moves in the shadows of the cockpit. There's something weird here. A mechanical centipede sitting on the dashboard, and it's looking at me. It suddenly scurries away, and I follow it quickly. It stops and sniffs at my equipment, and then it starts taking it apart. Um, hmm. Let it be? I watch it as it goes about its business. It begins to remove essential parts of my equipment, but it seems to know what it's doing, so I let it continue. And besides, I'm curious. Amazingly, it begins assembling some unknown device. I don't think it will work. Perhaps it's missing some raw materials, but I think I know how to finish it. When it's done, it chews its way through the hole and escapes into space. <laughs> what a strange creature. So, it broke our space folder and our drill, and it started a thermal resonance generator. Okay. Um. Oh, it broke our drill. Okay, let's repair the drill. We definitely need to repair the space folder, we can't go anywhere. Um, w, what the hell is W? Thorium, W. See, you need to know, <laughs> you need to pay attention in class. Uh, require shield generator. See, that's what he uses the resonator for so we're going to have to monitor and adjust the speed all the parts. Yeah, uh, totally, because we totally have a shield generator. I did in my last Let's Play through thing but not here um let's keep moving shall we ah damn it just outside supernova baby blazing like it's hot my imaginary me and I had a long talk today he told me about a summer evening I spent on a beach with friends there was a campfire one of them had a guitar. It's something I... It's something that makes music. I say this because when I told me about the guitar, I did not understand him. I thought he was speaking alien. Then he explained to me at length what a guitar was, and I finally remembered. Yeah, going crazy. Damn it. What is this? Alright. Uh, supernova. Supernova. Yeah, supernova. I can't believe my eyes. There's something here that appears to disprove all known, all known scientific theory. A naked singularity. A space and time... Space and time seem to bend together endlessly. It's a black hole, but unlike a black hole, this phenomenon is visible and plunges deep into itself, creating a vast bright tunnel. If I entered, I could travel a great distance, but would it be safe? Nothing is ever safe in this cool universe. Go for it, dude. I fly into the singularity. Hey, you only live once. 
Thunder can post me at top speed in an unknown direction. I find myself quickly thrust back into the void, far from everything. Not great, but it could have been much worse. You have been warped out there. Whoa, that that took us quite a bit. Um, let's pay a visit to the local gas station, shall we? Yoink. Oh boy, I'm not particularly thrilled. Ah, oh, fuck. It's like we already have to use a bar fuel. Well, uh, this particular gas giant was not all entirely too helpful. Let's go elsewhere. Red giant is the only thing in view. Black hole, yeah, no thank you. I'll stay the fuck away from it. A very small planet orbits the star. From here I can see small lakes, a tiny sea, and a beautiful forest. That's too tempting. I land and activate my pumps to collect the oxygen. I walk in the grass. This could be a nice place to settle down. Not far from my ship, I see what looks like a huge metallic temple. Yeah, let's just ignore it. Not. What an amazing discovery. The temple is an ancient buried ship. The words Aldenif Akira are still legible millennia later. In the central room, where a stone altar awaits, I discover, bleh, I discover some type of incredible transportation technology. I take it and my heart fills with joy. You have collected 100 oxygen. You have learned a new technology, Tau Stasis. You have learned a new word, Gulverg. Give. Tau stasis is very much of something we need to build. Um. Dismantle? Let's craft our planetary reactor here. Dismantle. No, do we have enough iron? Okay. Dismantle the drill. Uh, you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing? I'm going insane. If you watched my previous um, video, you will know that uh, ship synergy is very important. You don't just build components, it's best to build components next to each other. So they have synergy, in other words, they do more of what they're supposed to do. And once we get enough um, thorium, we'll craft the Tau Stasis because it does require the space folder. That's why I cleared the drill and the planetary reactor out of the way. Anyways, uh, we seem to be low on fuel and luckily there's a gas giant here, so haha. <laughs> Probe. Um, good, good, good. Could be better. Could be much better. Alright, let's consume it all. Fuel is pretty much the lifeblood of this game. Um, pretty much everything revolves around fuel. If you don't have enough of it, you're screwed. Um, Speaking of screwed, uh, this cluster of stars better lead us somewhere. I fly over the surface of a planet with a very shallow atmosphere, hoping to find someone or something that can help me. The planet's surface suddenly trembles, and an immense pyramidical creature appears before me, obstructing the nearest star with the size of his body. Huge eye, huge eye, this creature cracks open, looking at me. It's immense to go grab my ship. I'm busted. The creature, however, is not trying to crush me or eat me. It's examining me. Ah, uh, let's be friendly. Out of scraps lying about my ship, I have made a sign with my peaceful intentions. I hope he can see it. And you know what? It worked. The tentacles had retreated, and I flew away quickly. While the curious eye of the creature was still staring at me. 
my first friend in the strange space odyssey a six million ton friend who won't ever be able to come to my parties i'll be seeing you buddy <laughs> i'm gonna cook you all time oh we're only on 10 minutes that's more than good Ooh, hello a space station yes that's exactly what we needed fuel thank you uh, dead planets, dead planets, dead planets, gas. Alright. To the yellow dwarf. Got my fingers crossed for a, uh, paradise world. A weird crystal ship just appeared out of nowhere. It blinks. Emits strange noises and even tries to probe my mind. Finally, it sends me a s sort of mental request. I see two spheres linked together and each sphere has eight small satellites. What does it want? Um, give it oxygen. I just some saw oxygen into space. The crystalline visitor absorbs it and answers the soft sounds. Then a force takes control of my mind and I was conscious. I wake up later and I'm about to curse it when I realize it was somehow transmitting new knowledge into my mind. You have lost 20 oxygen. But we have gained the technology of solar sails. And hopefully this planet will have some gold. Lava planets do generally tend to have gold. No, we did find a W. W is tungsten. Right. Silicon and iron. Let's drill one more time. Silicon and iron, and I do believe that's all we'll be doing. Actually, do we need tungsten for anything? Oh, thermal resonant. Well, I mean, this requires a shield generator, which we don't have, so no point in that. We definitely, definitely, definitely need both of these. We need thorium and we need gold. Um. The solar sails will help us uh, navigate the solar systems with low fuel. Um, and the tau stasis will increase our jump capacity. Both of them. Well, technically everything is essential, but yeah. Alright, let's take off. Hopefully we will find a garden planet with some oxygen. Ooh, just barely. And run into a black hole too. Blink. You want to plunge deep into it? Yeah, but we don't have the fuel to uh, do that. Um. We used up the last one. But again, as I mentioned, folks, the fuel is everything. Um, supernova. We do not have... And we're done, folks. We are finished. Out of fuel. Last entry. This is the end of my journey. Uh, an okay score. Not really. I don't know why it says easy. Uh, I'm not playing on easy, but anyways, uh, that was it, folks. Yet another um, typical run of out there. You get screwed and you die. The end. Uh, this is Green Raven signing off. Bye bye, total signer. See you some other time.